Hello YouTubers. Today's video is a surprise. So what's in this box? You probably already might tell by the video title, but it's not really specific, so let's open her up with a box cutter. Now I ordered this about a week ago. And everything's a mess right now, so you guys probably wonder why. But you'll see at the very, very end of the final changes that were made. Oh yeah, you guys, that's right. To the intercom speaker, but a very special one. Try to get this out carefully. Some bubble wrap in case anyone wants to play with it. That's right, you guys. It's a little bit dusty, but bam. This is a Lowell wall speaker. Kind of looks like it's cousin to Atlas speaker right there. That square design. But you may notice, as soon as I get all the bubble wrap out, kick it off the side. The whole alignments are different for the screws. Now, they do use the same cardboard method here, or particle board, whatever the heck it is. But this is almost cheap. But it's very special. I don't know. I don't know if any of you live in Arizona, you might know what the Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall is. But for anyone that goes there, and if you're seeing this video, that mall is very it's populated with these suckers all over the place, playing some jazz and some blues all throughout the mall. They're part they're painted obviously because no one doesn't know how to tape the speakers. So, yep, they paint them. And look at this too. I've never seen this. I don't know Lowell the only one that does this is they put this foam padding here. It looks kind of like a, a kind of like that newspaper fiberglass insulation type of thing. And here's my tap, so which obviously I'm gonna remove this transformer because this is going to be on eight ohms, which will be in this room. Came with some screws. So and I'll show you what's going on here in the whole room. Currently, the intercom is not fully finished yet. Yeah, I'm still doing some work here. So, in case you're wondering why it, it's a disaster in here. I did move some things around, but guess where it's going? It's going to right here, right where all these wires are at. That's why I didn't zip tie any of these and made this nice yet. But I've completely been redoing the lines. This is going to be the new equipment rack. So I'm just going to play around with this for a little bit. On my Iowa stereo, which is right here. So, yeah. Hello, YouTubers. Today is a major intercom system update. Now, I did put that piece in the... First part of the video of me unpacking this Lowell speaker here. But, guess what? We're doing a major intercom system update. As you may have saw in that other part of the video, I rearranged the room and it's complete. And yes, I rearranged some speakers too, so this is major. And redid all the wiring here. All been redone. So... Got the bell tone going off here. So, yep. And this is a very interesting color, I have to say that. It pretty much almost blends into my wall. And no, I did not paint it. It's actually its original color. It looked white in the picture, but wow, I like that color, so. Looks like it's Cousin Atlas, and there goes the tone going off. So. There we go. There was a tone right there. 
Now I am using a couple of tones that my, two of my two people in my audio sent me. Thank you, Phone Guy 101, for sending me the Bogan Bell tone. And Dalen Allison, thank you for sending me the Rowland Bell tone. And they're both used in here. And also, I'm using your your paging tone that you sent me, Phone Guy 101. So here you go. There goes your tone. It kind of almost sounds like the one that my local JCPenney uses on the one by twos that they use throughout their store. Test check one two three. And then here's my new business phone. So now I'm gonna play some music. The workshops in business too. Let me turn this down so you can hear the tone. Because I don't want to, you know, make my neighbors mad. <laughs> Never happened, but I don't want to make them mad because it's in the morning. Watch. I noticed when I cranked the bass. I have to say, this puts out an amazing bass. Well, maybe I'll turn it up for a little bit. That's what the bass all the way up for here. A lot of these I redone. I redone a lot of the system. That's been redone. Now the horns are over here now. This is my horn control. So. Yeah, it's like a home feeder system in here. And then I'll go check out the garage workshop. So here's this part in here. Go check out the workshop. Nothing hasn't changed in here. It's all still the same. Clear up on all 64, and once again, Kmart is officially closing down, which is kind of true. Decided to joke on Kmart today, so. Nothing hasn't changed here. And. Dale and Allison, your tone's about to go off in a little bit. So we'll be in here. So. And I discovered that my local Bashes uses these Lowell, Lowell R series speakers all throughout the store. And they have the bass cranked up on these suckers very loud. And this sounds really good. There you go. That was your tone going off and Phone Guy 101, your tone's about to go off in a little bit. So, like I said, nothing hasn't changed here. It only changed in the other room. to play some funk for you guys today. So, we have this much time left. Tones. 
So let me turn it down. So there you go. I'm, I'm very happy that you guys sent me those tones. And if you guys want to send me more tones, feel free and I will use them on the system. And you, and you can send them in any format you want, .org or whatnot. I could convert them to MP3 because that's what my system uses. Now, I did actually move the paging box right here. That's the paging box with the two LEDs up there. My custom paging box I made. Yeah, I just slapped a bunch of components together and made it work. So I couldn't really explain how it works in case you guys wonder. I made that myself, but that was because I just slapped it together in one night because I was really bored. And then there's my amplifier down there, my microphone amplifier, which is just a cheapo computer speaker. Now, sadly, the AT&T phone's not up yet, but I'm probably going to put it right here. I already have the cable routed right here. I just got to drill it into this piece of wood. This is my new equipment rack. Everything here. And I like this rack better. It's no more old old rack. It's a new one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This wonderful intercom system update video. Which I call it major. So be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Like this video. Subscribe to me. And if you want, send me tones and I'll be I'll feel free to use them on the system. So See you guys all later.